This video contains footage of lasers, which cause flashing lights which may not be suitable for viewers with photosensitive epilepsy. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Today we are reviewing the Xtool D1 Pro 10 Watt Laser Engraver. This premium benchtop diode laser has loads of features like wireless connectivity, positioning lasers, rotary attachments, and an entire ecosystem of other accessories. But how well does it cut and engrave? Let's find out. Before we begin, this D1 Pro laser cutter was provided for me to review by Xtool. They aren't paying me for this review, and everything I say is my own honest opinion after using this laser for the last month. So let's get started. The D1 Pro Pro series consists of three different models, a 5 watt, 10 watt, and 20 watt version. The higher the wattage, the more powerful the laser is, which brings its own set of features. I have the 10 watt version today, their mid-tier model, with the rotary attachment bundle. The D1 Pro is a blue diode laser engraver, using visible blue lights of 455 nanometer wavelength. The laser module houses the two laser diodes, which use lenses to combine them together to form the final 10 watt output. The D1 Pro has a separate positioning light, which shines a red X to indicate where the laser will fire. That X is located 16 millimeters to the left of the actual laser. But don't worry, the software will automatically account for that. Simply position the red light where you want to start, and the laser will automatically move the 16 millimeters so that it starts in the correct location. That positioning light is extremely convenient, allowing for simple alignment of your material. On top of the laser module is a powerful cooling fan, which blows air down through the module to not only keep the laser cool, but also acts to blow smoke away while engraving. The fan does an excellent job at clearing smoke. The the laser nozzle has air assist attachments built in, but you'll need to purchase the compressor separately if you want to enable air assist. At the base is a built-in protective cover. The orange plastic blocks most of the blue laser lights, but I would still recommend always wearing the protective glasses provided with the machine. Cleaning the cover and lens is simple, although you will need the provided hex wrench to remove the nozzle in order to access the lens. Focus adjustments is done using the built-in lever. It flips down and magnetically locks into place. You then loosen the screw on the side, slide down the laser module until the lever rests on the material, and then tighten the screw. Flip the lever back up and you're ready to cut or engrave. The D1 Pro has a work area of 430mm by 400mm. That is extendable up to 936mm by 432mm with their optional extension kits. The X and Y axes are belts driven and ride on steel wheels and rods. The motion is extremely smooth and the wheels should hold up well after extended use. The frame itself is folded aluminum, making it pretty lightweight. The frame is supported by the four feet in the corners. Those feet have rubber caps, providing plenty of grip on the workbench. The feet can also be extended with the optional screw-in risers, which allow you to engrave on taller objects or for when you use the rotary attachments. It uses optical limit switches for both min and max on the X and Y axes, so you'll never need to worry about the laser slamming into any of the sides. There is a single button on top of the frame, which is used to start a cut. The right side houses the USB Type-B connector and the connector for the power brick. You can also connect the D1 Pro to your Wi-Fi network and wirelessly control the laser. That is one less cable you have to run, and it's extremely convenient. The bundle I have came with Xtools RA2 Pro, their latest rotary attachment kit. This is an extensive kit with four different modes. It has a rotary set with separate support rollers, a chuck rotary with both small and large chuck arms, a sphere rotary with tailstock, and ring rotary. And each of those are extremely adjustable, so it can work with a large variety of diameters or irregular shapes. The RA2 Pro plugs into where the Y-axis motor connects, and the software handles everything. It even comes with separate connectors for a variety of other common plugs, so you could use the rotary attachment with other brands of laser engravers. I could probably do a video on just the rotary attachment alone, so leave a comment if that's something you would be interested in. Wrapping up the features, the D1 Pro has a built-in gyroscope, which will stop the laser if it detects the frame has moved. Simply lifting the laser frame caused it to stop, although it took a second for it to kick in. It also has a flame detector which would stop the laser if it detects fire, but I couldn't test it as I couldn't get anything to ignite. Those are good safety features to see. The D1 Pro assembly process is, well, a process. It's a kit, but the motors and electronics are already installed. The four sides of the frame screws together, and then the Y-axis drive shaft is attached to the motor and cables are tidied up. The X-axis is then installed with a few more screws and cable connectors, and then the laser module slides into position. One thing to note is the very interesting screw which holds the laser in place. It has its own adjustable lever which acts as a wrench. You can slide it off the screw head to reposition. It took a few moments to understand how it works, but once it's been adjusted, that lever makes it easy to tighten or loosen when you need to 
adjust the focus. It will take you longer to assemble the D1 Pro than many other lasers, but the full color instructions with pictures do an excellent job of walking you through each of the steps. The D1 Pro also comes with a pair of protective goggles, which you should always wear when using the laser. A tube of grease, a USB cable, cable ties, and a nice box with all of the tools needed for assembly. It also comes with a small sheet of aluminum to protect your workbench. With hardware done, let's talk software. Xtools has their own all-in-one laser cutter software called Xtool Creative Space, but the laser could also be used with any other Gerbil-based software like Lightburn. Xtool Creative Space is pretty impressive. You can do all the standard design work inside of it, placing shapes, text, and images. It also has an extensive library of material settings, so you can simply select the material you want to use and it will handle the rest. They also have a section for sharing designs, so you can load up a tutorial project directly within the software, or pull from hundreds of free designs. They also have great support for Lightburn, with the included machine profiles. If you use Lightburn, I'd also highly recommend the material library that Lightburn user jbrown123 created, which I'll link below. But they've converted Xtool's reference PDF into an extensive material library, which will save you many hours of manual entry. The only drawback with Lightburn is that it currently doesn't have wireless capabilities, so you'll have to use USB. But whether you use Xtool's Creative Space or Lightburn, the D1 Pro was very simple to connect to and control. So let's move on to actually cutting things. The D1 Pro can cut and engrave a large variety of materials. I'll show you some of my favorite examples. As always, be aware of material safety. If you do not know what a material something is, do not put it in the laser. Be sure to read Xtool's warnings, they do a good job of explaining what materials you should never use due to risk of deadly fumes, fire, etc. So first up is wood. This is always the bread and butter for lasers. The D1 Pro cuts 1 8 inch birch plywood at 300 millimeters a minute in a single pass. The cuts are very precise, and there's relatively little soot considering that I'm not using any air assist on these cuts. Their example phone stand was plug and play, and their settings from their library work straight out of the box. These layered signs also turned out great, the pieces just popped right out. Because the laser is visible light, it cannot cut clear acrylics. However, opaque acrylics like this black acrylic works very well. I love cutting keychains, they are one of my go-to first projects. The D1 Pro engraves very precisely, both the roster logo and the vector ruler engraved accurately. Next up is slate. Natural stones like this slate coaster works well, and gives a good looking effect when engraved. The positioning laser is very helpful in making sure your material is aligned correctly. Leather is another laser staple. Be careful not to use chrome tan leathers, as those can be dangerous in lasers, but this natural vegetan leather bracelet worked very well in the D1 Pro. This was using the leather settings from the Lightburn library, and this first bracelet is a little too dark for my liking. If I were to do some more, I'd probably turn down the power or increase the movement speed. The 10 watt and 20 watt versions can also engrave a few different metals. These anodized aluminum business cards were easy to engrave. The oxide layer was no match against the 10 watt version. This is even one of the tutorial patterns from the Xtool Creative Space. Stainless steel also works well, although the engraving is much slower. This stainless steel business card had crisp engravings, but also started to warp from the heat of the engrave. The stainless steel pendants engraved perfectly, even if I always didn't get the alignment correct. The last material I'll cover is a new one for me. Rubber. I've made videos in the past about 3D printing custom stamps, but I've never laser engraved a stamp. But the D1 Pro made it super easy, barely an inconvenience. We're preparing for Maker Faire Orlando at the beginning of November, so these Mickey the Robot stamps were easy to engrave, and they worked quite well. I've got a new technique to experiment with. Lastly, a quick overview of the rotary attachments. This is great for mugs, glasses, balls, or anything spherical or cylindrical. With the risers on the legs and the rotary connected, I place the mug on the rollers and use the support roller to make the sides as level as possible. And then the Xtool software took care of the rest. I just had to import the image and adjust the material settings. The rotary worked great, although the rubber coating on the side of the mug was much thicker than I expected. It still gave great results, and it was really easy to set up and use. In conclusion, the Xtool D1 Pro 10 watt laser engraver is excellent. The machine itself has quality hardware, and the engraves and cuts were highly satisfactory with all the materials I tested. The Wi-Fi connection is extremely convenient. Their software has all of the features you'd need, their project list and material library made it very easy to get started. It can be intimidating to learn a new tool, but the Xtool does a good job at making it fun and easy to learn. With the D1 Pro, you have access to an entire ecosystem of accessories like the rotary attachments, and there's more that I didn't cover. 
like the full enclosure for fume extraction or their honeycomb work surface. You can upgrade down the line as your project list continues to grow and grow. The D1 Pro 10 watt version currently sells for 699 US dollars, with the bundle with the rotary attachment and the risers will cost an extra $260 for a total bundle price of 959 US dollars. At a base price of $700, this is one of the more premium 10 watt laser engravers on the market, but I think that it would be a good choice for those looking for those premium features. So thank you all for watching my review of the Xtool D1 Pro laser engraver. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And while you're here, why not check out my other laser engraver reviews, like my recent review of the Creality 10W CR Laser Falcon. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.